Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. And what we're going to make are cookies. We're going to make oatmeal cookies, which is a favorite of a lot of people, but a little bit of a twist because we're going to put prunes in them. And I know as soon as you hear the word prune, well, I guess write this cookie recipe off. But before you do that, I really hope that you give it a try. You know, when I first made these, I actually told uh, the individual that I was serving them to with coffee, and I said, oh, they're oatmeal plum. And she had no problem at all with it. She tried a bite, said, they are absolutely delicious. And I said, well, they are dried sweet prunes. And she really could get over it. How a great tasting cookie. So I hope you give this one a try, especially if you do like prunes and you do like that fruit in particular. I think you're really going to like these cookies. Um, so let's get started. First, you're going to start off with one cup of butter. And it is best if you just let it sit at room temperature. So it's in a little bit of a softened uh, state. Now, I won't be putting the recipe below uh, the video. And I'm really sorry about that, but I'll explain that as we uh, go along here. And the next thing, of course, is we're just going to cream it and break it up. Now, you can certainly use your hand mixer if you prefer. I'm using my stand-up because it's really a lot quicker and faster for the video. So I'm going to warn you about the sound ahead of time before I put the mixer on, okay? All right. You'll want to cream it, and it might probably take you two, two or three minutes, that type of thing. But again, I'm moving everything along due to the video. The next thing that I'm going to put in with the cream butter is brown sugar. And you're going to need one cup of brown sugar. And hopefully, I'm explaining the recipes clear enough to you that if you, you know, want to jot it down and, uh, you know, you can. So we've got one cup of butter, and now we're beating and creaming in one cup of brown sugar. Warn you about the sound. thing we're going to put in is granulated sugar, but we're going to put a half a cup of granulated sugar in and then take the time, that two or that three minutes, to cream them together. Once you do that, you're going to need two eggs. And I've also had these at room temperature. I'm going to beat in one at a time. The next thing we're going to put in is vanilla. And you need one teaspoon of vanilla. And let's beat that in. And again, just a reminder about the sound. All right. Now I'm just going to clean up the sides of the mixing bowl and get to the bottom a little bit. All right, and we're going to just put that on for a few more seconds. Okay, now normally, you know, I wouldn't uh, be beating at that high of a speed, more at medium, but again, trying to move it along. I don't want to keep you folks too long with the video. All right, let's talk about dry ingredients. You're going to need one and one quarter cup of all-purpose flour. In that one and one quarter cup all-purpose flour, you're going to put in one teaspoon of baking powder. That was one teaspoon. You're going to put one teaspoon of cinnamon in. Now, I actually put a little bit, you know, a very rounded 
a teaspoon of cinnamon because I really like cinnamon but if not just you know one teaspoon or a little bit more <laughs> up to you and next we're going to put salt so we're going to put a half a teaspoon of salt and then I'm just gonna stir that in a little bit okay and well, I always like using my little whisk. There we go. Spoon, whisk, doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, so let's now start combining that dry. And just add a little at a time. Till it's quite creamy again just cleaning those sides getting to the bottom and let you take a peek of what we have so far okay great smelling cinnamon and butter and sugar and oh brown sugar what a great combination okay Next, of course, you're going to need oats, so you're going to need oatmeal, and I'm just using the regular. I'm not using the quick or anything like that. You're going to need three and one quarter cups of it, three and one quarter cups, and I'm going to put a little in at a time, just till it's combined. you blend that all together the last thing of course is you're going to put in your uh, sweet uh, prunes now you will need one and a half cups of uh, diced prunes so to be very honest what I did was I mixed them uh, I mean I'm not did mix them I'm sorry I measured them uh, one and a half cups and then you know I diced them up. I cut I cut them up, and it was it was really plenty. So I did them, uh, weighed them in a measuring cup, as I said, whole, uh, one and a half cups of them, and then I diced them. And I actually like them not the pieces too small, so that way when you bite into the cookie, you, you know you get that um, that wonderful taste of, the, of that of that fruit. So, you know, if you want to dice them really small, you know, feel free. Okay, and I'm just going to put this all in there. And then I'm going to uh, turn the mixer on high just to um, get them all mixed in. Now, you can fold them in by hand if you prefer, but this is quicker again for the video. <laughs> If you want and you like nuts, you know, feel free to put in uh, chopped nuts, any type of nut. About a cup is really, I think, you'd like. If you want a little less, use a half a cup, but a cup really, um, I think, is, is great for this recipe. Now, you can use whatever your favorite nut is, if it's pecans or walnuts or almonds or whatever. Uh, but it, you know anywhere from a half a cup to um, to a cup okay now I'm just gonna make sure that everything kind of combined well clean up the sides of that mixing bowl and then show you this really oh this great this is great smelling um, cookie dough uh, and when it's baked in the oven your whole kitchen oh it'll smell so good it really does now um, of course, you're going to need a cookie sheet or a cookie pan, and I'm using parchment paper. If you prefer to use your Teflon mats, of course, feel free. Or if you just want to not use the paper or mats and you just want to lightly spray it with an oil spray, you don't need a lot, just, just, just a little, okay? Now, the next thing is... Um, I'm using not the smallest but the medium-sized scoop. If you don't have one and you prefer 
uh, do about uh, at least one good rounded uh, tablespoon um, of this, okay? And now they're not going to really, um, you know, spread too much on you, but I put uh, them at least a couple inches, um, you know, uh, apart or even a little bit more, you know, two inches or so. Now, I generally get about 44 cookies this size, um, depending, of course, how big you want to make your cookies. If you're going to make them smaller, um, your baking time, you know, is going to be altered. Uh, probably it's going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, if you make them larger than this, your baking time, you know, might be just a, a wee bit longer. Um, and um, I bake these at 350 degrees. Now, um, you know, all our ovens set up so differently. And you don't want this cookie to be too burned or too dry, I should say, not burn. Who wants to eat a burned cookie? Uh, but <laughs> that you don't want them too dried out. You want them where they have a crispness to them, but they're very soft, you know. And then if, if to just take the little bit of the roundness out, just use the back of your spoon or your clean fingertips if you want to just push down the tops a little bit and um, like that and again put them in a 350 degree oven anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes now if you don't like the way the the cookie dough is handling uh, just you know as we made it now you can certainly refrigerate it and chill it for about an hour if you prefer to work with it like that but I really find this to be very easy and quick uh, without chilling. So it'll be up to you on that. Now I'm going to rinse my hands quickly here and um, because I was touching raw cookie dough and raw eggs. So just wanted to wash my hands. And I want to show you what they look like once they're... Uh, they're baked up and this is how they're going to come up. They are going to be um, They'll have you know a nice rounded top on them even though I flattened them a little bit They'll have a nice golden brown on the bottom um, And uh, let's uh, well, let's let's uh, break into one to um, well, let's Let's try this one because I love to see that that nice uh, diced up uh, prune. Now the bottom will have a hard surface as well as the top but when you break into them they will be extremely chewy and moist and I'm just going to press on this cookie a little bit. I hope that you'll be able to see as I'm pressing how moist they are. Oh, they just melt in your mouth. They are a great tasting cookie. And the prune, the, oh, you just get that, that sweet natural flavor from the prunes. They are a really good tasting cookie. Now, if you try this recipe and you like it, well, leave a comment because I'd like to hear from you. And I wanna just discuss very quickly, cause I'm not alone on this at all, the reason I don't put my recipe on anymore, it's just kind of not worth it anymore because so many people, um, and I again, I'm not the only one, uh, take, your, take my recipe, they take a recipe, they post it, they pin it, they claim it theirs, it's on different sites, and it's so frustrating that when you take the time to write to me or have a question, and I see my work somewhere else and I can't answer you, and it is just not worth it for me to do it that, you know, to, to do that. So I do, you know, tell you I'm sorry about that. Um, but if you watch me solely on YouTube and you write to me or have a question or a comment, I will uh, do my very best to answer in a timely fashion. I'm going to get that question. I'm going to get that comment when you watch me solely on YouTube because that's the only place I put my videos. So, again, if you'd like to give these oatmeal prune 
cookies a try. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. So I want to thank you for watching Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. If you're so inclined and you'd like to subscribe, boy, I'd really appreciate it or give the video a like. That'd be great. So thank you for watching. Again, be safe. See you soon.